Uh, Professor Lawrence Krauss, I'm a Year 8 student and I would love to pursue a career in the field of theoretical physics or cosmology. I'm also a devout Catholic and have a very strong faith. I am particularly interested uh, in black holes and where we are situated in the universe. Wow. The great physicist Albert Einstein once said, Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. Do you believe there is a place in this world where both science and religion can be compatible and work side by side? And that's a Keenan Fitzsimons. Apologies. Uh, go ahead. Well, that's a good question. First of all, I applaud your interest in, in that area, and I encourage you to, to continue it um, independent of your beliefs, because the great thing about science is that the, the black holes exist or not, whether or not you believe in God. It's, it, that's the wonderful thing about science. God's kind of irrelevant. Uh, it, your beliefs are, are, don't really matter. And that's why there are scientists of all sorts, some who are devout Catholics, some who don't, a great many who don't believe. I think that when you say can science and religion be compatible, it's a, it's a complex question because religion is a very diffuse thing. When people often take that remark of Einstein's, Einstein also said that the God of organized religion is a fairy tale, is a myth, is silly, and people should give it up like they did Santa Claus. I mean, he, so his, his view of religion was more, he his, was sort of a, uh, a Spinozan kind of religion where the, the notion that there's order in the universe and we should revere that order in the universe. He never believed in a, in a creator that had any personal interest in anyone. So when you talk about religion, you have to be more careful. The vague notion that the universe is amazing and maybe somehow that gives you meaning, that's not incompatible with science. What is incompatible with science is the doctrines of all the world's organized religions. Those are incompatible with science. Can I just ask you a quick question? Um, would you take the view that science has not proven that God doesn't exist? It could never prove. And it, that God is... Science can never disprove God. Because, you know, I could say that God created us here 12 seconds ago. How could I disprove that? With all with the memories of, of the wonderful discussion that we just had, you know, because it was God's kind of sadistic. Believe and, me, and, it'll be on <laughs> tape somewhere. We've seen that before. And, and so I could never disprove that. So science can never disprove the notion of God. But the really interesting question is that we make it seem as if science, this question of God is important to science. It's irrelevant. Most scientists don't even think about God enough to know if they're atheists. When you, when you go in the laboratory, you're working in the laboratory, and when devoutly... Christian or, what, or Jewish or whatever, and I know, have many friends who are deeply religious, when they go in the laboratory, God goes out the window. So your religious beliefs should be separate from your interest in science. And, but it is disingenuous, and although it offends people, it's disingenuous to argue that the doctrines, the world's organized religions are consistent with science, because they're not. All right. Um, and Ali, what do you think about this? Uh, I was talking about science and black holes and stuff hurts my head. <laughs> um. well, do, do, we should talk later. Okay. Do, 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 you believe, do you believe in a creator? Let's put it that way. I, I believe in a creator, but that's my personal belief, and I believe that belief is very personal. So I, I believe that um, a creator, for some people, is God, for some people it's Yahuwah, for some people it's Allah, for some people it's, 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 it's whatever organised religion tells you it is. But I also think that for some people it's this incredible energy that is out there in the universe that binds us all together um, and that, you know, but you it, can't... But it can't be God, it can't be Allah, and all, they, they all can't be right, right? So, so either, either one but of them is right or wrong. They are all right. No, but they are all right because there is something bigger than us. And you oh, can't, but it's not like Allah, I, it's not Jesus, and it's not Moses, and it's not... I mean, the point is, every, as I've said on this be. program before, every person of deep faith is an atheist about every other religion. Well, uh, it's, it's, it, it is whatever you want it to be. And I, I you know, like, I, I go for walks sometimes or I work in my garden and it's really hard to look around you and see all this wonderful stuff around you and not believe that there's something bigger than, uh, than us. Well, there is. There's a galaxy and there's... Oh, no, 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 you're my brain. <laughs> I, I want to bring in Paul Kelly here. Paul, you're a, you're a man of faith, so um, what, are you, what are your reflections You on... don't know a lot about my faith, too. <laughs> no, I, I, I presume you're a believer in God. Okay, well, I, I do um, uh, think there's a greater force. I am a believer in a greater force. Uh, I think that religion and science are separate. I think they can endure together. I agree completely that when a scientist goes into the laboratory, all he's interested in is science, not religion. I understand that uh, completely. But I think the two are very different domains. 
Uh, one is the domain of reason, the other is the domain of faith, and I don't think there's anything inherently incompatible between them. Tim Wilson. Well, I don't broadly disagree with um, what Paul just said. The key thing I would add, though, is that when you get to the frontiers of science and you see this in discussions around artificial intelligence and issues around genetics and, and innovation, uh, that morality, which often comes from religion, can inform people's perspectives about what's well, well, right or I'm ethical or I'm always or amazed when people say morality comes from religion. I think most people's morality comes from rationality. They claim it comes from religion, and that's the real problem. Religion well, has usurped this notion that somehow it has a, a monopoly on morality. If you didn't believe in God, you wouldn't go out and kill your neighbor the next day. Your, that comes from a sense of rationality and empathy with others. It doesn't come from religion, and, and people claim it does, and people often say they're religious just because they think if they say they're not, people will think they're bad people, and that's the real problem today. I said can come yeah. from religion. Mm -hmm. Morality <laughs> has different components Is to that it, like, and people have ethics and moral dimensions which <coughs> don't come from well, religion. The, the Old but Testament is one of the most immoral books ever written. The key point is when yeah. you get to the okay. frontiers of science, issues around religion can inform how people approach the exploration and that is always a, a, a tension because being somebody who isn't a faith uh, I'm always in favour of seeing how far we can take scientific prog progress I accept that there are limits and we have to assess and make proper judgment calls about making sure we're not make, taking so too much when risk. religion says say being gay is evil and science can show there's nothing there's no empirical basis for that you say there's no inconsistency well it's not about consistency people are entitled to their views well even it, it if can I be disagree wrong. with them that's what happens in but a free religion, society but for many people their religion tells them something that's manifestly wrong are we sure. supposed to yeah. accept that that's or just not say it's silly no of course you're allowed to say okay. it's silly in fact you're supposed to go out there and when, you, when the you say people are entitled to their views of course they are yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying Once again, Tony Jones, you have used this platform to make a snide remark and aside, rather than actually addressing the fundamental issue. I didn't even hang on, I didn't hang on. You said you're, people, you're assuming what I was going to People are entitled to, to their views. Whether the national broadcaster gives it a platform right. is entirely different okay. issue. No, people are entitled to reviews, but the whole point is we're entitled to find the views ridiculous. Of and course what amazes we are. me, No, but what amazes me is, is that in, in the, our society, we're entitled to attack politicians, we're entitled to make fun of sex, we're entitled to make fun of everything else, but the minute you suggest that the views of, of the Pope are absolutely silly, suddenly you're viewed as strident and, and, and inappropriate. And the point is there should be nothing that's sacred. Everything should be open to debate, including religion. No one's disputing that as far as well. Can I hear from Kenya Plibersek on the question of religion and science? Uh, well, I like Lawrence's books very much, and especially the science of Star Trek one. <laughs> um, I guess I'm almost the exact opposite to each of well, the two of you. Uh, I don't think that there's a life after death. I don't think there's a heaven or hell. Um, but... Uh, I believe deeply and profoundly in some of the lessons that uh, Lawrence says that it's not religion, it's morality. But religion is a really good way of um, describing and telling stories to people. And um, Sometimes good, sometimes not so good. Would you no, agree? no, that's true. It, yeah. it, it can be quite damaging too, yeah. I accept that. But, um, you know, I, I went to church every Sunday as a kid and the things that sunk in for me were... Judge not lest ye be judged. Um, pull the plank out of your own eye before you reach for the splinter in your brothers. Um, uh, the story of the Good Samaritan, Sir Frederick Osnam saying that uh, charity is pouring oil on the wounds of the traveller, um, but justice is preventing the attack in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, actually, uh, sitting there for an hour a week and thinking through the way you want to live your life is... Um, Perhaps a bit of a luxury in a busy modern world. I, I agree completely with what you're saying, but the question is, does it... I think we, it would be great to sit and have, a, a, you know, every Sunday talk about quantum mechanics too, but... Yeah, but, uh, I would uh, do that with you, Lawrence. In fact, I would it may do be that more with useful, you. but I think what you've yeah. illustrated is, is a really key point. Many people who call themselves religious in one way or another, what they do is they pick and choose the things that appeal to them, and they, and they throw out the rest, and most of the rest is the real doctrine. You know, most of them don't believe when you eat a wafer that it turns into the body of Christ. But, yeah. but, but they like some of the things they read. So most people really 
aren't really Christians. What they are is they like some of the things they read in the Bible and, and they identify with that and it makes it and it makes them more acceptable in the rest of society to identify with that. Okay. I think, uh, actually, can I just so, make yes, a point yes, about this? Um, I think that that actually might be a bit of a difference between American society and Australian society. I, I don't think you get well, judged. Well, for example, yet. Um, if you were in American society, you wouldn't have said what you said earlier about being a non-believer and expect to become a leader of the country. Well, it's, it's uh, absolutely true. It's, I was so impressed with you saying that. Uh, it, because in true, in the United States, uh, you know, there's been a study in Americans that it, being atheist is is, the, is viewed on the level of being a rapist. It's the same thing. It's, um, well, that's a good time to do this. Uh, the next question. <laughs>